Hi Girl Scouts! Betsy Nichols here, Program Specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines, returning to you from Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part two of four for the Senior Think Like an Engineer journey, where I will be guiding you through the second design challenge of the journey. But first, let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Okay. So this design challenge is called Kinetic Sculpture. So here is the premise. You have been contacted by the director of a local summer camp. The camp has a big field and she'd like you to engineer a sculpture for the field that can move in the wind. Your sculpture will be a kinetic sculpture, meaning that its movement is powered by the wind. So here is the criteria that our kinetic sculptures need to uh, meet. The sculpture must be at least six inches tall. It has to have at least two parts that can move in the wind. And it must be sturdy enough to stand up in the wind and not be knocked over. Okay, and these are our constraints that we are working with. You can only use strips of colored paper or fabric, one large piece of cardboard, up to 10 metal washers, up to five ping pong balls, poster putty, up to five paper cups, 10 wooden skewers, string, and tape. Uh, you can also use scissors, um, but they cannot be part of the final sculpture. All right, so we, and then you can use pens, pencils, markers to plan and decorate your sculpture. So I'm going to take a closer look at this list that I just read and I am going to search around my home to see how close I can get to this list. And why don't you take a moment to do the same and we will meet right back. I am back with my supplies. I kept it pretty minimal for this one. So I have a couple pieces of cardboard. I have three aluminum uh, reusable straws. I have my twine. I have my twine. I have a ruler. I have some washi tape. I uh, have a paper clip. I have big plans for my paper clip. And then um, I wanted to use fabric scraps for my sculpture. So I, fun fact about me, I hold on to um, socks whenever they have holes in them because I use them as cleaning rags. And I also use them, um, I'll cut them up and use them uh, for pieces in embroidery projects. That's a hobby of mine. So I went into my stash of holy socks and I did a little bit of shredding and cutting into pieces. And so um, I'm also going to use these as part of my sculpture. So I am going to get to designing and building and I will be right back. I have finished my statue for the summer camp and I'm just going to measure it real quick. So it stands at maybe nine and a half inches tall. So it meets our six inch height requirement. Let's bring it in a little bit closer. So I made a triangle for the base and then I um, secured my aluminum straws to the points of the triangle with some tape and then I met them up at the top. And then I'll show you in a second after we um, test this, but I made a little, a little tripod out of cardboard and I stuck the three prongs into the um, straws to start to try to hold them together. Then I taped that in place. And then my first moving element is I um, hung some of my scrap fabrics down here to dangle down and flow in the wind. And then my second moving element at the top is kind of this pinwheel um, that I made. 
And actually, um, I was having a really hard time bending the paper clip um, into the position that I wanted it to. So I found a swap. I um, took a pin, a little sewing pin um, that has a flat cap at the top. So if you have any push pins, that might be great. Um, and so that was able to just go right through um, the tape and the cardboard that I had underneath there. And then I wrapped just the tiniest, thinnest little um, piece of tape around just to give my pinwheel something to sit on top of so that it wouldn't just rest right on top of my sculpture. So um, I'm going to place it down on the table and I'm gonna give it a nice big puff, um, just like the three little pigs, I guess. Um, if you have a fan, uh, you might hold it up in front of a fan um, and see if it stands up to the wind, but I'm just gonna give it a nice little um, puff of air right now. Now, I don't know if you can see that, so I'm gonna bring it in closer. I'm gonna show you that the little pinwheel that I made actually works. So the pinwheel works, the fabric flows in the breeze. So this is my, um, this is my completed sculpture. Now, I went through a couple different trials with it. Um, I, at first, had um, the aluminum straws all taped together and so let me take this off and I'll show you how um, my little tripod to get them to stand together works. So I um, used string to secure the fabric and then here's three pieces of tape at the top. I'm gonna peel those back and then here is the piece that I made and so I'm gonna pull it out. There we go. So it looks like a little tripod what I actually, how I made it was I traced the base, so this triangle here, I traced it and then I cut um, along the edges that go to the, so I drew the lines that go to each point and I cut those out so it looks um, like a little, like, like the a peace sign, like the middle of a peace sign without the circle on the outside. So I was really proud of that it really helped me hold the um, straws upright um, before I was able to get it all secure. So I was very proud of this little innovation. So let's recap what we just did. Um, we were tasked to give a, we were tasked to create a sculpture that would flow in the wind. It was called a kinetic sculpture for a summer camp and um, there was a long list of supplies that we could pull from. Um, I didn't have a lot of it. I don't have any plastic cups or paper cups at my home. I don't have any ping pong balls. Um, I don't have any metal washers. And so even with the, let's see, straws, cardboard, string, tape, fabric, and a push pin. Those were the six items that I used to make my sculpture. Um, I'm really proud with the results that I made and so I hope that you were able to put something together as well that you're um, proud of too. So this concludes our um, second design challenge for the seniors. Um, I really hope that you join me next week for our third design challenge and um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye! I'll see you next time!